Okay, so I wasn't even gonna record today, but so I thought I would explain what I'm doing. I am prepping some baby food. Um, I will show you the book I'm kind of uh, using as a guideline. Not perfectly, but I am um, because I've never done this before. So, but um, I'll be starting my son on just really basic foods to start out with. And so I have some vegetables and things that I'm gonna be steaming and then pureeing. Um, so we're gonna do that. I've been baking bread today. I didn't record that though. And then the other thing I'm making is what you saw. I'm kind of making healthier candy, I guess you could call it. Um, it's dates with peanut butter in the middle. And then I will be dipping them in chocolate and I will show you that whole process. So right now let's get my pan over here rewashed and we're going to steam up some zucchini next. And my kitchen is a disaster, so don't look at it. Well, while I'm here, and you probably all appreciate it, um, I did make some sourdough. This is half um, white flour, half kamut flour. And um, um, I don't love how the sourdough kamuts turn out, but this has really good flavor. It's a little bit more dense, not as, but I did Asiago cheese and red bell pepper. And it seriously just like smells amazing, but I've already dug in the half of it. I got another one baked. I can show you the whole thing. So here is my other bread and that turned out really pretty. Okay, so this is the book that I'm going off of for uh, baby's first foods. So I'm just going off of some pureed recipes that she has in there, but um, I really like it because it's just like steamed vegetables or fruits pureed up. So um, I'm just doing all vegetables right now, um, prepping them, and then I'm freezing them in that um, container you saw. And then he's, he, I'm gonna start him in a few weeks. I'm waiting just a few more weeks, but I'm just trying to get things prepped right now. But, and then I use my vacuum sealer to vacuum them up. Um, I, the, about a week ago, I prepped um, celery puree, uh, carrot puree, and uh, butternut squash puree. So I'm just kind of experimenting, trying to get him some variety of foods ready for when he does start eating. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of learning. Um, I really have liked this book so far. Um, I only have one child, so he's my first to kind of learn on. And um, yeah, I'm just getting these all ready for when he does start eating. I'll link this book if any of you are interested. I know baby food is probably not something a lot of people are interested in. Anyways, just thought I'd bring you guys along. So the things I have left to do today is I'm gonna do this acorn squash. I have two different varieties of sweet potato, um, well, I guess a yam and then a sweet potato. And then I'm going to work on zucchini next. I don't know if I'll get around to all of it today, but I will show you guys what I do. Okay, so for any of the purees, I am just steaming them and then I'm adding some filtered water just basically to the consistency that I like and yeah so that's what we're doing <laughs> the zucchini is very liquidy already I guess you could say so I might not have to add water <laughs> Oh yeah, it's, zucchini is very watery, so I'm actually not even gonna add any water because it's already really liquidy. There we go. Nice zucchini puree. <laughs>
Okay, let's try one together. I used to make these back when we lived in our other house, but I haven't made them in like five or six years probably. Okay, there we go. Our little homemade candy bar, healthier candy bar. Mm. That's seriously so good, guys. I should try this. I forgot how good these were. Holy cow. <clears throat> I was going to do half of these with almond butter, but when I had cut the dates, I didn't think it looked like enough. So I just did peanut butter this time, but almond butter or any type of nut butter would be really good in these. And <laughs> I only have one of these little freezer things, so I have to, I made my uh, zucchini puree yesterday, but I didn't have to freeze it, I just put it in the fridge, so I have this parchment paper underneath because beets, as you can tell, will stain everything. So the zucchini didn't get me very far, but that's okay because we have the acorn squash we're gonna be doing as well. So I'm gonna get those in the freezer and then we're gonna start on the other things. I just wanna show you really fast. I put them in two different containers because I ran out of room, but this is how I'm storing these candies, um, date peanut butter candies. They are really good guys. I forgot how good these were. Kind of remind you of a mix between like a Reese's peanut butter cup and a Snickers maybe, I don't know, Twix. I don't know, they're better in my opinion. Those bars are way too sweet in my opinion, but these are so good. I was gonna store them in the refrigerator, but they're very, um, they're still really like chewable out of the freezer. So I'm keeping them in the freezer. So that's how I'm doing it. And I get a little yummy snack every day. So um, yeah. Okay, so I still have the uh, sweet potato and the acorn squash that I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna end this video here. Um, just because it's all the same steps. Um, I'll link the book I'm kind of using as my guideline for baby purees. And then I do hope you guys try out those um, healthy candy bar that I made yesterday because um, they are really good. So um, let me know if uh, baby food type stuff it interests you guys. I wasn't going to share it, but um, I just decided to kind of pick up the camera and show you what I was doing. So um, yeah, I'm excited to get these things all prepped and start feeding my little guy some foods. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.